so I decided, kind of spur of the moment while I was finishing up these Golden Company Swordsmen, that I would do a quick kind of demo on basing and how I have how I generally base uh, minis with grass and with uh, textured paste and everything. Um, I've had some folks ask me how I do my grass to make them make it look like it's standing up, which it isn't really, but it kind of has the illusion of it. So I figured while I was finishing up these guys, I would just film for a few minutes and talk about what I'm doing. So um, just for reference, these are the guys I am finishing up. These are Golden Company Swordsmen. And I've been slowly chugging away on them for weeks now. And I think I can finish them up here uh, in the next few minutes. So uh, really quickly, the steps that I've gone gone through up to this point um, for basing are I use a texture paste like the Vallejo Earth Texture. Um, they have multiple colors, multiple different colors of it. Uh, so for these guys, what I'll do is I'll lay down the texture paste first. And while I'm doing that, if I have any rocks that I want to put in, like this guy has some like larger rocks here, I'll use some just normal PVA glue, glue that into the paste for extra strength and support. And once that dries, I'll go back and paint paint the paste or paint the, the ground, the color I want. In the case of these Golden Company Swordsmen, I'm using Vallejo Flat Brown. And after that, um, oh, I forgot to mention, I also will mix in other consistencies of earth paste. So in this one, these guys, they have the uh, Vallejo earth texture, which is a really kind of like a fine uh, texture. And then I've been mixing in the Pro uh coarse basing texture to give it, just kind of break up the, um, just the uniform fine, fine basing. Um, texture. So paint it, paint it flat brown, then I'll go back and paint the rocks. Uh, I'll paint them, I'll do a wash, like an Agrax earth shade wash over the rocks, and then I'll go back and dry brush the earth. In this case I used German camo beige uh, to dry brush. Go back over the rocks, which I base coated in the German camo beige. Dry brush them after the wash uh, a few times. And then at that point, I'll varnish the whole thing. So uh, varnish it all with a matte varnish. And then uh, since I have so much metallic paint on these guys, I then have to go back since the matte varnish knocked the, the shine down like to almost zero. I have to go back and re-shine up all the metal. So um, my preferred gloss coat of choice is Pledge Floor Cleaner, which is essentially an acrylic gloss. I've had this bottle for like 12 years. It used to be clear, now it looks like urine or something, but it still goes on uh, glossy. So do all that, uh, re-gloss up all the stuff that I want to be glossy. And then we come to the point we're at right now, where it's the final stage. I'm putting the grass on, any, any tufts, that kind of thing. Um, I'll mix up whatever grass consistency I want. So I have all these different static grasses. And for my different factions, I usually will find like a specific blend that I want to go with. So um, once I find the blend that I want, I kind of, you know, I'll put a little bit of that blend into one of these little dime bags that I've, you know, got from other minis games. Um, I'll write down what my blend was on the front so I can always reproduce it later when I run out. Um, and this is kind of my little grass, static grass station right here. It's just a, you know, a little solo cup. Uh, empty box, and then I'll get some diluted PVA. Um, again, using just this PVA, I'll get some. So this white glue, kind of dilute it. Maybe 25% water, 75% glue, or just a little bit more water than that. Uh, and then I'll go over my mini, find out where I want to put the grass, and just kind of glob this this uh, glue on here. Try not to get too much of it on the black rim of the base because we don't want the grass sticking to that. 
and uh, there's no real rhyme or reason how I put this put this uh, glue on or where I put the grass. I just want it to kind of be consistent with the base or the uh, base movement trays. Because by this point, I will have already done the basing on the movement trays, so I just want there to be consistency. So if it's going to be heavily grassed, if they're going to be in a heavily grassy movement tray, I'll apply more grass than normal um, onto these guys. But movement tray and these guys are going to be just about 50-50 grass to uh, earth. So I've done that. I put the glue on. Now I get the uh, grass that I have in my little solo cup here. I hold the guy over the solo cup and I'll just grab a, a pinch pinch of it and just kind of smash it down onto the onto the glue. Smash, smash, smash. All right. Now he looks like a complete mess. He's just covered. Looks like he just jumped into like a hay pile or something. Um, and now I want it to I want to make sure I press it down onto the glue. So I'll get like the back of a brush and anywhere that I had glue, I just kind of press, press, press with the uh, with the brush. All right, now I'm comfortable that it's been pressed into the glue. So now I flip the guy over and just do a series of little tap taps. So tap, tap, tap. Upside down tap taps, sideways tap tap, tap tap. Just keep tapping until I don't see any more grass falling back into the solo cup. Tap, 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 tap. All right, pretty comfortable there. So now you look at the guy and if I can get him in frame, you'll see that it looks pretty well covered in grass. Um, there's, it looks a little bit haphazard on the side. It's kind of all kind of just piling over the side. So now we want it to stand up and look like fairly confined within the, just the base itself. So, so now what I do is I go back in here and just with my finger, you can use a brush. You just kind of lift the edge. So you see the grass was kind of pushing itself over the edge of the base. And now we're just gently kind of lifting it off of that edge. Since the glue is still wet, this is easy to do. And in doing that, you are both making the base look clean because you now just have a clean black base rim. And you've created the illusion that all this grass is standing up when in fact, really just the grass along the edges and then a few other pieces is standing up. And then also I'll, I'll go in with the actual brush side of the brush that I was using to tap down. And um, then I'll go in and just kind of clean it off. If it's like in this case, it's covering his foot. I'll go in and kind of clean it off of his foot because when you step in grass, it's not usually going to completely cover your foot. Um, and you can go back with this. And if you see some big pieces of grass that are laying down, you can just kind of prop them up a little bit to help further sell that illusion of the grass standing up. And once I've done that, I do a few more tap taps because I've probably loosened some up. So tap, 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 tap. Grass falls off. And with that, this guy's done. We just do that 12 times and we'll be all done with this unit. All right, there he is, all done. Um, hopefully I've been able to keep enough of this in frame. I haven't been able to, I haven't been watching the camera the whole time I've been doing this. So, uh, if not, hopefully from just my description alone, you've been able to see it. And that's it. So, uh, just real quick video on how I base my minis. I do the same thing pretty much for all my Song of Ice and Fire minis that have grass and earth bases. Just the only difference is the, the mix of the grass, uh, color of the base. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So these are my Golden Company Swordsman, and uh, you'll probably be seeing them on the table soon because I can't get enough of these guys and the elephants, as anybody who's watched my channel probably knows. Uh, they'll be making a return, I'm sure, shortly. And with that, that's all I got. This is Randall, signing off.